Okay, we're live. What is up, my shreds? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Velotrick Nomad One Step Through Electric Bike. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out that link down below for the Velotrick Nomad One. Use code SHREDDY60, right? Is that SHREDDY60? Get $60 off your order. Yes. Um, if Velotrick isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So uh, yeah, Velotrick sent this over to me to test out for you guys in e-bike science. So let's all see who's all in here. I see Loon in here and Paltimo. What's up guys, how you guys doing? Thank you guys for joining us on this uh, beautiful Saturday. Actually here in Delaware, it was about 78 degrees. It was an awesome day. D and I took a little uh, break out to the, or actually it wasn't a break because we worked. We went out to the beach, hung out, did uh, some writing and stuff and worked on some videos. So that was a lot of fun. So Dee's behind the camera, everybody say hi to D. Hey guys. So, uh, yeah, any questions while, while uh, I wait for a few more people to join? So what model is this? This is the, the Velotrick Nomad 1. This is actually a step through and uh, it's a little bit, it's gonna be actually to accommodate uh, shorter people like D because it's uh, up to five foot one so you could lower the seat pretty low. I'll go over the specs after we get the bike put together and everything. So uh, I'm just gonna get started on the unboxing. Well, it's, um, five foot, it's five foot one to like six foot. Five one to six foot, yeah. So you can yeah. raise the, the seat pretty high. So shorter and tall riders. So I think I'm going to unbox this a little bit different than we did last, uh, last unboxing. Because my shoulder hurts today. <laughs> I, was doing, I was doing some wheelie practices and like I, for some reason like I pulled out my right shoulder. So I, I think I'm going to use the razor blade and cut each side of the box and kind of open it down. But we'll see. If, if the bike feels light enough, I may pull it up by myself. But always, it's good to have two people help out with unboxings. So how's everybody enjoying their, uh, their weekend so far? Boom! We have Eric Gardner, uh, Death Rock, Mike Feedy. Hell yeah! Mike said, my here. favorite bike right now. Keep killing it, Eddie and Hell Dave. yeah! I can't, I can't wait to ride with you, Mike. I'm, so, I'm super stoked. Everybody, uh, I know I've told you guys about Feedy before. Mike Feedy is like one of my favorite pro BMXers. I've known him for a while. Um, and he does electric bike reviews very in depth. So you guys should definitely go check out his channel. He is definitely a lot of fun to watch. Um, I was actually in one of his first like YouTube videos years and years ago, back when I uh, uh, was full-time skateboarding, like all the time, he did like a pool noodle wrapped around the tire. And that was so cool, man. So that, that video actually did very well. If you guys uh, search up Mike Feedy and pool noodle, I'm sure that'll pop up. Let me get this out of the way. Did you try the bike with the pool noodle? I didn't and I should have. <laughs> that was before I, like, I was all into biking. I actually want to get into a little bit of uh, BMXing or mountain biking and stuff. Only if it's electric. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'll do regular stuff. I mean, whatever, for fun. Oh, look, it's like a little, uh, I've never had a box like this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna lean it down a little bit so you guys can see the packaging. Good job of packaging. I think FedEx cut that to grab the box. That's funny. Nice fat tire. Everything seems to be in very good shape so far, inspection wise. All right. I love these big styrofoam things. <laughs> All right. These like dodging these. Ah. Yeah, I think I might lay it down. I'm just gonna pull all the boxes out first. Any questions while I do this, I can answer. Brian Grady, I love your stuff. You got me into e-bikes looking at the Zeus 1100. Awesome, I appreciate it, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining this live. What is your discount code for the Zeus? Oh, bike? Shreddy 220, it's a, it's a 150 off. Darn, this is a freaking, look, this is their toolkit, what? Hold on, this is like a, Big ass toolkit, jeez. They have a little quick start guide. That's pretty cool. You know I read that afterwards, right? <laughs> but you guys should read it right when, when you see it, right? Oh, that's dope. I've never seen it like this before. This is Very really cool. Very organized. Yeah. Kickstand, the tools, your reflectors, pedals, notification bell. Oh, 
headlight. Heck yeah, it's got a headlight. Let's see how the charger is. I'm thinking it might be like a three amp or two amp. It's a three amp charger. Okay. All right. We're going to have to put that on. All that stuff on. All right. D. I think I'm going to cut the box open on the sides and kind of pull it down. Let me, let me see what it feels like pulling it straight up. Shreddy got a bad shoulder today. Maybe DD can help. Yes. <laughs> hold the bike, uh, hold the box down. Yeah, just pull. Kick it from oh, under. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Struggling with Shreddy and DD. All right, you're good, right? I guess. <laughs> Did you want to put it on the mat? I would like to. Where am I supposed to put the box? <laughs> we usually do these in the garage. It's so much easier in the garage. <laughs> I'll try to pull it. There you go. Look at DD helping out with the unboxing <laughs> today. All right, all right. I don't want to lay this on the hard floor. <laughs> He's trying to fit it on that little mat. <laughs> I know. Guys, I miss my garage. It's like full and full of e-bikes. So, where's the razor? Mike Feedy, what's the easiest way to unbox this? <laughs> you think I should lay it down? Not on the, not on that side. Your little friend can help you back there. <laughs> hey, dead shred, can you help me out? Don't break his leg. I'm gonna grab a tool while Dee answers, uh, or reads off some comments that I can answer. All right, let's see. Ultima. Mike Feedy, Mike Feedy said, cut it at the corner, slicing it up so it opens like a door down to the floor to show the packaging. Yeah, I should have done it that way. As you guys can see, <laughs> I've struggled so hard. <laughs> he said he loves the color. That is a dope yes, color. Yes, we didn't know what color we were getting, so that's, that's cool. So I like Dee's that. five foot two. Five foot two. Um, she's going to sit on the bike to show you guys how she fits on this. So this can accommodate as short as five foot foot one, which is pretty awesome. That's what I love about step throughs. I like step throughs, they're, they're nice because they're easy to get on and off. Get on and off, yeah. If you're not like as abled as other people and you know, you haven't e-biked in a while or bikes, road bikes in a while, getting on a step through is uh, definitely a great idea. So what is this for the fender? Yeah. Today I noticed that step through is also called high step and I never heard that term before. The high step was with the bar. Oh, step so through it's is a not step through. high step. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so high step's like the guy's version with the bar. Oh, wow. Let me slid that through the... Okay. Way to get it on. Oh, I like the black rims. Oh, these things are big. Yeah, nice big fat tires. 26 by fours. Darn. These are going to be fun to ride on the beach. Hell yeah. We're going to drain some air out of these suckers and rip around on the beach. I got to figure out where to put all this stuff. Yeah, because this is an all-terrain e-bike. This is, yeah, I'm going to make it an all-terrain e-bike for sure. <laughs> you guys know I like ripping around in woods, sand, the beach, right near the beach. Oh, no. Oh, no, shred dead. Shred dead. My little shred dead. I'm sorry, bro. Just chill right there, homie. All right. Yeah, the frame looks solid too. Welds look nice and clean. Digging it, digging it so far. Let's see if we're gonna be struggling even more with Shreddy in a little bit. This is our second time unboxing in the house. Ooh, the battery's <laughs> already kinda like un unlodged there. So once you get the battery off, best thing to do is just start charging it right away but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna put it on, make sure it works after we get this together. Any questions? No questions? It's a Saturday, everybody's out having a good time. Yeah, it's so nice out. I actually just went on a, uh, just like a, what was it, like a 30 minute group ride with uh, Bomber Marv, Matt the Mechanic, uh, D, his mom, and Neil, Officer Neil. I actually uh, went up this little grass hill and went back down 
and grabbed my front brake and I slid forward and I fell today. So luckily I didn't hurt myself and I was able to make it to the stream today. <laughs> what were you on? I was on the super. I, for, I always forget like on some bikes, the rear brakes over here and some bikes is over here. So sometimes you get a little twisted up and mixed up. And two days ago when you were doing the Farla electric scooter review. Oh yeah. You oh, you guys are going to see that video tomorrow yeah. actually. Uh, see this shoe? I'm, I'm wearing it still because my toes, my toes still hurt and they're swollen. So I had the, the kickstand go straight through my shoe. I thought it like went to the bone. It hurt so bad. Um, I, I stuck it in a, as a little like, uh, you know, funny blooper at the end of that video. So you guys will be able to laugh at me and make fun of me for hurting myself. <laughs> so that video that he's referring to is the Varla review and that comes out tomorrow at tomorrow, 5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. and you'll yeah. be able to see him get hurt. That was a fun one. I'll be shooting the review for this uh, Monday. That's going to be a lot of fun and we're still going to be doing some more unboxings all week until I leave for Texas. Texas. Mike Petey said put the kickstand on first and then the front wheel so the bike is standing for the rest. I love you bro. <laughs> Mike, you should come join us. Yeah, Mike, can you help me get we this kickstand on? It goes back here, right? <laughs> right there for you. <laughs> yeah, Brian Grady. Wow, that color really pops. It we does. It's like, it's like glowing. I, I'm, I'm hoping D can like rip on this thing. That'd be fun too. So I'm guessing the controller is like down here in this little box. It's a cool design. Like it, like it, like it. And I think it, it comes with a rear rack or you can get a rear rack that can hold up to like 55 pounds. So... I'm pretty sure uh, you can definitely load up some stuff on this. And I think it can hold like 33 on the front rack or something like that. We'll go through all the specs after we get it together. Mike said, oh, well, I'm putting the kids down or I would. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we lived closer, bro, so we could hang out. Yeah. H Head said hi from Australia. Australia. What's up, brother? I'm going to turn on the fan up top. Uh, bulletproof. Wow, even the battery matches the color of the bike. Oh yeah, that is nice, the battery matches. That's pretty good. I'll keep, actually keep that up. Do you guys want me to clean it, clean up the space a little, make it look neater? He probably does, I know she does. Quad Crazy Keith, oh. won't be mad if you take a break and pick on that twanger a bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> you guys want to hear me rock? <laughs> hey, maybe you stay till the end, you get to see it. I'm still looking for a band to play with, and, and for those of you that are new to the channel, like if you guys ever hear the music on my uh, intros or whatever, that's, that's my old band, Self Checkout, and that's me singing on there, which is... Man, I miss, I really miss doing. I'm still looking for, for people to play with down here in Southern Delaware. Let's see their toolkit. Hell yeah. Louis Trampoche said pop punk. Yep. What is it? Pop punk, yeah. I was, I was, we actually started uh, as a pop punk band at first when we were, uh, you know, self-checkout. And then we had like two new people join and then we kind of went like, Screamo, Poppy Screamo, I don't know what they call it. That sounds funny, like Poppy Screamo, like, hey, Poppy. It's like some kind of Spanish rock band or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually good at the eye in this. Yeah, everything looks really nice. Like the yeah. colors, like it's really black, the fenders. Yeah, all the colors like really pop. I like, it's like a matte black. They have a lot of different colors too. I'll, I'll check it out on the phone, let you guys all know. Yeah, I think they have yellow, light blue, this color turquoise, and then they had another one. I wonder if you guys think I could wheelie this. I've been like wheeling like crazy. That's all I've been thinking about and doing. Like any chance I get, I just go out and do some wheelies. So what are you doing now? I'm gonna put the kickstand on like Feedy said, so we could, uh, we're gonna stand it up and put the wheel on. I might have to get you to help me get that wheel on. Okay. Where'd I put the kickstand? There it is. Oh, there it is. Anon Varky, oh, hey y'all, what's up? Hey Anon. Does that go in like that? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear the, uh, the comment. What was that? A non Varky joined. What's going on, brother? Louis Tramposh said Silverstein for life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love Silverstein. You still listen to Silverstein. Yeah, I do. I want my vision back said that is definitely one fat tire. <laughs> it's a fat 
tire. Yo, yeah, tire. Yeah, they look nice. That tire is thick. Thick tire. Hold on. Am I like on the wrong? What am I doing here? It does look like that's like really far back, yeah. but I guess Hold that's on. where it goes. So normally you kick a kickstand back to close it, right? But why would it be that far? I know. I was watching <laughs> what you were doing and I was like, why is it so far back? Feedy. This is why Eddie or Shreddy should always read the instructions first. Instructions. <laughs> Dude, the kickstand's always on this side because, yeah, that's how it is. Unless it goes uh, underneath. Where's Feedy Mike at? Feedy, where does the kickstand go? Yeah, there's no way it goes like that because look at that little uh, leg. All right, well, let's save that for next. <laughs> we'll save that for last. I'm going to put the wheel on, I guess. <laughs> Unboxing, struggling with Shreddy. Feedy, help me. <laughs> Mike Feedy said it's adjustable. Oh. Ah. Where'd you go? Oh. Ah. Yeah, it's like stretched out all the way. <laughs> So who all here is gonna be in Houston for the Sura Mega Rider? Is anybody from Texas here? Or who's going to the Electrify Expo in Austin also? The Scarecrow said, hey, what's up? Glad what's to be up, here. Scarecrow? Beautiful color on the bike. I do like that color. It's very beachy. It's like it fits in with where we live. Brian McCann, Shreddy and Bomber Marvel should build a Tuck Tuck trike by taking people around town. Oh, make money by taking people around town. Just like group riding, oh, with, like giving people rides? They or like... used, so we have like a little like bar beach town called Dewey Beach and they have the guys on bikes that take people around. Like... Yeah, that should be fun on e-bikes though, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. They weren't on e-bikes. They were always on regular bikes. I feel like it's still, like does it really kick back that far? <laughs> Is like that right, like Mike? Right here, right? <laughs> That's what I was watching you do that the whole time, thinking that. Kickstands are always on this side, too, so. I mean, it looks like it fits there. Does it go the other way? Nah, because, uh, no. It has to go this way. Okay, well. Oh, see, it's nice and long. It's a very long kickstand. That's why it goes there. All right, well, we're going to see. We're going to put it on there, and if it holds it up, that's great. <laughs> That'll be great. Anon said, most of the time, PHAT wheels are my kind of thing. Oh, I get it. <laughs> my young sister is from Fanson Hill, Houston, Texas. Oh, Mike hell Feedy, yeah. Mike Feedy said, pop it on and you'll see, LOL. Okay, LOL. <laughs> just do it, Eddie. Just do it. Be like Nike and just do it. <laughs> will do, will do. Any questions, guys? Any questions? I know it's a lot more fun watching these uh, unboxings in the garage, but uh, once I get it cleaned up out there, we'll get back out doing the lives out there. How many, uh, how many Newton meters? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kickstand. Works, That's right? good. All right. All right, so this is where I'm going to need you, DD. I kind of wish I could just like flip it upside down, put the... Hmm. Hmm. Just thinking, guys, just thinking. Get bouncy. So you're putting the front tire on now? Yep. I don't back them out all the way. Not all the way. Um, Dee, do you want uh, to hold this and I'll lift it and drop it onto it? And then we could put the kickstand on. Do you mind? <laughs> She's got makeup on. It's I okay. didn't brush my hair yet. We were on the beach, it was like high winds. <laughs> I wonder if I should just put that right there. Just watch the dropout. Am I lined up? 
Did um, they drop out? Where does it go in the front? Oh, I see. See it? Okay. Both sides. Are we in? No. No? Make okay. sure the brake goes in. Actually, is there a, a, a little red? See that little red thing on the brake? Yeah. Pull that out, that little plastic thing. Pull it out? Yeah, that little red plastic thing. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling with Shreddy and Didi. Just pull that out the way. There oh. we go. Now get that round. See the round? Hold on, flip it. Sorry, flip it. That's brake side. Oh. I gotta flip it, sorry. There we go. Nope, this way, this way. Hold on. Sorry, you were right, D. There we go. This is a nice fork, jeez. See where okay. that brake is? Slide that little brake right in there. Can you see? Is it going in? Is it in? Are we in? No. No? Oh, we're not even in a brake. Hold on. Get that brake caliper it in. it needs to go back. Okay. I don't understand. You're trying to put it in between there. Yeah, hold on. Look. <laughs> they're probably la They're like... <laughs> this is <laughs> why we, we don't do lives. No, we always do lives. This makes it fun. Almost. Can you like slide it? There you go. Struggling with Shreddy and Dee Dee. You think you could hold this up maybe? I normally flip the bike upside down to make life easier. But Like hold the bike and you do it? Yeah, here. Okay. Hold. Take that. <laughs> Take that out of there. Wait. I wonder if I could flip this. You can read the comments. Whoever's making fun of us. Watch out, D. I'm gonna flip it and try it like that. It's not an unboxing unless we're struggling with Shreddy and DD. <laughs> there we go. All right, lean against this side. <laughs> what? Trying to get in front of the camera, there we go. Here we go. Hold, no, hold the bike. I got this. Okay. No, hold the back, the back of the bike. There you go. Thank you, babe. Thank you. I'm in the caliper. Where's Feedy when we need him? Oh, there it is. There it is. I need to unscrew more. There we go. That's in there. All right. We'll answer some comments. <laughs> I'll tighten it up. I'm going to flip it back over. Guys, remind, remind me to tighten this up. All right. Flip it back. And then the other thing I don't remember is to. Uh... Oh, we got a super chat. I want my vision back. Send $5. Thank you. Love the videos. Thank you. You like the struggling videos? Thanks for the uh, support. <laughs> Dude, Feedy, thank you for making me put this kickstand on. Uh, much better. Oh, give me that fan. <laughs> Hold on, let me get some water. Shred Mike Feedy said, is it in? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Well, there's all we got it, guys. Now. I'm going to freaking rip so hard on this bike. This is going to be fun. All right. The other thing that I know uh, people do, the mistake is not flipping this around. So we got to loosen that and flip that sucker around. I want my vision said, how many e-bikes do you currently own? Oh, my God. Too many. Overwhelmingly too many. <laughs> Like 19 right now or something? Anon said wheelies and stoppies. Pop and drop it till, till when wheels fall off. That's the one thing I haven't learned is stoppies. I can't like grasp how to squeeze that front brake and like actually lean into it. I keep on doing it and I do the thing where I'm just like, dunk, and that's it. So I just stick to doing wheelies for right now. But if somebody uh, can teach me how to do stoppies, I'd definitely start learning, practicing. I like see. Go ahead. Like Fiddy said, gotta bust out your NASCAR pit crew tools. <laughs> right. 
Brian Grady, I love speed. Any thoughts on a good e-bike? What is your style besides just speed? Do you want dirt riding? Do you want to just ride trails, like uh, bike want, trails? Do you just want to ride out at the beach? Do like you want long range? What's your, yeah, what's, what, what's your poison? Like, how what? fast do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, how fast do you want to go? Bike trails or just street? Oh, uh, if Feedy, Feedy, if you're still in here, Bomber Marv stopped by today with that, uh, that souped up Ringo. And he said he hit 71 miles an hour on it. And he beat, uh, Matt the Mechanic Suron, and it's crazy. I saw it today, but I didn't really see him like open it up or anything, but it looks awesome with a big old battery on the side, 72 volt, crazy. Anon said, what handlebars are you rocking, dude? Stock handlebars, I'm not switching anything up on these. We got like connectors, one, two, three, four. Five what crazy! Ones. I burn one before every task I do. <laughs> what is it? What do you say? I he burn, burns one. Oh, no, I burn one before every task I. Oh, do. I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, Anon said, "Ever plan on doing videos on electric skateboards?" Yeah, I need to get back to. I need to get my skateboarding feet back because I'm so used to riding the one wheel, and when I get on a skateboard, I I tend to try to lean forward to make it start going. And it feels really weird. So yeah, I, I got to get back into skateboarding. Brian to learn McCann, how to e-skate. <laughs> Brian McCann said, McCann's struggling with shredding and DD isn't in yet. Nope, HBO. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Everyone's saying we were saying it's in yet. What are you guys doing here on a Saturday? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> oh, the clock's changed back tomorrow night. It's going to be dark extra early. Is it the right size? Pinch bolts first. Twinkle said, just waiting on my eBay Volk e-bike to arrive. Is that, that that fat tire one? Did you say eBay? Yeah. Volk? Oh, I'm not tight. Louis Tramposh, big boy battery oh. life, 72 volt. I actually tried the 72 volt, Ron. That thing is crazy fast, crazy. Oh my God. Don't tell me I, I screwed this one up. Brian Grady said fast street. Okay, so you want to go fast on the street? I heard, actually, you know what I saw today? I saw that uh, they're outlawing the Surons in, in all of Orange County, California. So they're starting to crack down on faster bikes. So I don't know how I feel about like getting faster bikes without like future proof in them, maybe getting turning signals put on them or, or something because now I feel like the, the crackdowns are really, really starting to come in. I hope I'm doing this right to, to turn this thing, there we go. So if he wants to go really fast, it'll be an Aero Rider, which you have a discount link for. The Zeus goes fast, but how fast does the Aero Rider and Zeus go? So depending on the Zeus, the, this is this too close to my mouth? The 750, I think I hit around 26. And it has uh, fast torque. The 11, yeah, the 750 has more low end torque. The 1100, I hit about 32 miles an hour on it. And then what was the other one? Arrow Rider. The, AA, the Grizzly, I think I hit 36 on the review. If you guys want to go back and check the review to make sure, I'm pretty sure it was like 36 miles an hour. And the Arrow Rider Grizzly has dual battery, right? So dual it's battery, dual range. motor, yeah. Um, and he has discount links for all of those down below in the description. We're going to have to start getting D to start saying all the sayings. There might be a bike you like. And... Um, <sighs> Shreddy, you also recommend what the Suron electric dirt bike, um, he doesn't have a link. link for Suron electric dirt bike discount code, but he does dirt have a bike. link for all his upgrades down below. He said, I was looking at the recon to make it street legal. Hold on, is that, um, which is the recon? Do I got the wrong size? Yes, I do. Oh, where was it? wasn't working. Hold on, is that cab works? Cab motor works? Correct me if I'm wrong. I got to ride, uh, do you guys know the freaking shredder? I tried his cab. Um, I don't remember which one he's got though. I can't remember. That thing was very torquey and fast though. So. It had some speed, some power. I'm just getting all the threads to kind of grab at first on this. 
Oh, and then you also just tested the uh, Lyric Graffiti e-bike, which oh, yeah. was, he just put out that video um, this past Sunday, and that goes 38 miles per hour. What and videos have I been working on? I've, I've been fun. He could do so wheelies. busy. So busy recently. And then you have the Lyric Voodoo video coming out, and that's going to go how fast? Like 65? It's close to 70, supposedly exactly 70, but we'll see about that. Yeah, so those, uh, the Lyric bikes, the graffiti, and the voodoo come out in 2023. I think they're shipping like January 1st, the graffiti is. So with, with stems like this, I'm not well versed in like bicycle knowledge like this. Um, with a stem like this, I know normally like you do it in a cross pattern, but with like a setup like this, I'm asking Mike Feedy since he's the bike master. Um, do you have to do it in like a cross pattern or can you do it in any which way? I might kind of do it evenly right now, just so it doesn't. Getting in here. And I think Dee and I are thinking about getting a camper to go to Texas. Do you guys have any recommendations on? Possibly. <laughs> where we should go or what we should do on the way down. <laughs> If the price is right, the price and we're wondering how much right. gas it's going to cost from Delaware to Texas. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot. But I, I want to see, um, I want to see a lot of people down there. Actually, I'm gonna, I want to visit my mom very soon too. She lives in in Kempner, Killeen area. If you guys know Austin. where that is, it's about like 30 minutes from Austin. Oh. Um, did you guys know that the iPhone 14 is like really, really, really good at shooting video and cameras? I didn't know that until uh, Mike told me that. And I did try doing some photos and videos today with it in RAW. Holy crap, it looks amazing. It looks really cool. Yeah, Mike Feedy said always cross and snug even all the way until it's tight. Okay. I should probably just keep going just in case, just in case. And this one. Anna Connie said, wow, Feedy's in the chat. Shreddy, you're a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> big shot. Feedy's been my homie for a while, man. Feedy's from Delaware, too. Yeah. We'll be doing some collaborations here soon if you guys are excited for that. Oh, I did a cafe racer style. I should have done a little higher. This is like cafe racer. <laughs> I'll loosen it up and point <laughs> yeah, it up. You did. It looks cool. It's a cafe racer. We'll, we'll, we'll claim it as a cafe racer. Do I have to switch again? Richard R. said Titan handle, Titan handlebar clamp cross pattern 5 Nm. 5 Newton meters. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have one of those tools. Actually, I have one of the bigger ones. I know this, you don't tighten up like super crazy tight. But the pinch bolts, you kind of can go hard. Why did Mike Feedy say no step on snake? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> don't step Anaconda's on snake. Anaconda's a snake, I don't know. Oh. Um, Richard Cruz, beautiful color. I had GoTrax emerge that that color. Lots of oh. compliments. You two are nice. awesome, funny. Keep it up. Thank you. Love guys. it. Also, Thank the little you. guy looks like Joey Ramone. Take care. Joey Ramone. Love that dude, too. <laughs> Thank you. Are you leaving? Is that is he saying take care because he's leaving? No. Oh. I thought he was out. Loon said we all need to say hi to Mama Shreddy in Texas. Ooh, I was gonna use the the <laughs> the couch to put the tire against. No. Ooh, don't do that. I'll get in trouble. That's why we need to get back to the garage, guys. That's where we belong. Louie said seriously <laughs> funky handlebars. Dude, that I did it like cafe racer style. What do you mean? Mr. Central Driver, I like that color. Uh, Mr. Central, should I keep it cafe racer style like this? Mike Feedy said snake. Snake? I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Hold on, are you talking about this thing going up my butt? S-N-E-K-K-K. -K -K. I don't know. I'm going to sit on this in case what he's talking snake? about. Because this looks kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> Louis Trampoche said MCD. I don't know what's going on. Snake? snake. And I got to go back up because I missed a lot of comments. Hey guys, we always try to get to your comments. We do. So if, if we don't get to it, we might have missed it. So say it again. We trained Posh said big boy battery life, 72 volt. Did I say that? Big boy. I, I still only got, actually, no, I got 172 volt. I got 172 volt bike. Ultimate. But it's out of commission. 
Ultima said, Sir on Crackdown is why I'd go for an Onyx RCR and plate it. 50 to 60 miles is fine for my use. Guys, I, I got to put this, I got to tilt it up. It, oh. it, it, do you think it looks, hold on, let me. It's funny. Let me look at it from far away. <laughs> do you guys like the cafe racer style? Did Mr. Central driver tell me to keep it like that or no? <laughs> that looks hilarious. Uh, Mr. Central Driver just said, a little odd for the bike to have handlebars like that. Okay, it's I'll fix them. Um, man, <laughs> you guys. I was trying to make it look cool. Oh, so Shreddy also has the Huck Cycles. Um, what is it called? He has the Huck Cycles Stinger. Stinger yeah. it's they don't known. make that model anymore. Um, and they actually don't make it with pedals anymore. So there's been a lot of people asking about that bike and asking me like, hey, do they still make it with pedals? Nope, they are doing that because of legal reasons or trying to stay, um, I guess, within the law. I don't know. But um, you have a like 5% off discount code for them. And that bike I goes think 60, 5%, yeah. That mm -hmm. bike goes like 65 miles an hour. And 5% oh. saves you like 500 plus. This one actually has hydraulic disc brakes and they feel really nice. Cool. Do you guys like it like this? Or do you guys want them higher? It's really comfortable like seating position though. Do you guys like the handlebars like that? Higher, lower? Damn, I'm actually digging this bike. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it like that. I think it feels comfy like that. That feels good. D, you're going to be riding this too. Do you guys want to see D review a bike soon? Can you guys uh, give us a thumbs up if you guys want uh, D to do a bike review? Oh yeah, John W said, turn down bars might hit your knees and turns. Yeah, it felt weird and like, I've actually tried, uh, do you guys know Dylan Thompson's, his, he had uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly and he put like the uh, cafe bars on there, they're really low and when I was riding it, it like hurt my wrist cause like the way it like turned them, it was uncomfortable. Oh, maybe that's why the Grizzly's handlebars are so high cause you always want to change them too. Yeah. Well, the, the Grizzly bars look like grandpa bars. That's why a lot of people switch them out to like kind of like bmx -y style or like Suron style bars. Yeah, Mr. Central Driver said he likes that color. I'm probably repeating some comments. That's okay. I think Louie agreed. That he likes the color or? Yeah. Loon said, not gonna lie, I think that color would look pretty cool on a Suron X. Oh, you think? You could probably wrap it. Get some vinyl and wrap it up. Oh, wait, we got another super chat. When did we get that? Oh, we just got it. Mr. Central thank Driver, you. thank you. Thank Keep you, Mr. Central content, Driver. Bro. Appreciate it. You too, brother. If you guys haven't seen Mr. Central Driver's channel, he does have one of the fastest Surons around. You guys should check him out. He does a lot of high speed, crazy riding. I would like actually like to have you come down to Delaware, over to Delaware and hang out and ride with us. <laughs> Anaconda route. Mr. Central Driver just showed up too. This, means, <laughs> this must be a hot time slot. <laughs> I know. That's what I was like thinking like Saturday, man. That's where people are hanging out. You guys should this be is, out drinking. This is our first live on a Saturday. I think we've done, maybe we've done a weekend one before. Everyone um, go get a beer and come back. <laughs> no, I'm Damn, now that all, all you got, all you content creators, we're all together in this chat. Let's, let's get together and do something sometime. Let's, let's collab, guys. Um, should I do the front fender? Should I struggle with that? Oh, I still got stuff to take off. Hold on. John W. said, be kind about grandpas, LOL. I love oh, grandpas. Oh, Mike Feedy just sent a $50 super chat. Yeah, yeah, Mike Feedy, take it back, bro. Yeah, lunch on me tomorrow, guys. <laughs> bro, Stay take focused that on back, what we man. talked about. Everyone send this man another super chat. Hold on. Thank you, Mike. Can everybody Thank go to Mike so Feedy's channel, subscribe, and send him some super chats? <laughs> I told him I owed him 150 uh, dinners and lunches <laughs> earlier. Thank you so much. Thank all you guys. I appreciate it, brother. What do you guys um, want to do next? Should I put the, the front fender on or should I put the pedals on? I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put the reflectors on. I always usually do like a, um, a blinker light on my book bag. I do two, two red blinking lights and then I always bring two flashlights. And then this is going to have a headlight that I got to put on. Let's put that on actually. This little guy, that's tight. Does it have a tail light too or yeah, just a reflector. Okay. Louis said, kind of want to go out and ride right now. Do it. <laughs> I want my vision back. Said Feedy, nice. He said, Hell nah, yeah. get after it guys. I'm glad everybody's having fun in the chat. You guys are awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for hanging out. I'm having a blast. 
Woo, all right, I'm gonna switch this around so you guys can see, not kill my sh dead shred. Brian McCann, shredding needs a Razor 650 and upgrade the battery motor controller. Is that a scooter? The scooter? A Razor scooter? Is that what you're talking about? What's the, it's this one, okay. What do we got? Death Rock said, now drinking beer and watching Phillies versus Astros. Who do you think's gonna win? Who do you want to win? Eddie was watching UFC earlier. <laughs> I was. Actually, BKFC is on tonight. Are you guys going to watch slap boxing or slap fighting? That's, that's a new thing. I don't know if, if I told you, D. Uh, Dana White, um, I guess, just bought slap fighting. So two guys or women, they stand across from each other and they just slap each other like back and forth and until maybe who, somebody gets knocked out. <laughs> Are you guys interested in something like that? I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch it to see what it's all about. But I don't know, I remember when I thought uh, bare knuckle fighting was kind of weird at first and then I, I started to grow to like it. So who knows, maybe I'll like slap, slap fighting or slap boxing. Where the heck did all my tools go? You guys know that, that thing that steals all your tools? You're always missing your tools. I know, hold on. Ultima said, I want to ride right now in the dark and high winds. I like challenges. <laughs> oh, was it windy there today, Paulton? And what's the weather like over there? It just got windy here. It was windy a little bit earlier. Dude, oh, I put it in my back pocket. Yay, that's, that person stole it. John W., headlight ah. and front fender on same bolt? Headlight and front fender. Thank you, because I would have I been, so I'm just going to take that off right now. Hey, Mike, if you're going to give Shreddy any more tips, tell him to read the directions first. <laughs> no, this is, this is actually like how these streams go like all the time. It'll be struggling with Shreddy and then you guys are always telling me like what to do or what I did wrong. What, you know? So that's why I love this, this channel. It's like oh, I'm, wait, I'm learning from you guys. Oh, wait, he was questioning that. So I don't know. If What's that's, that? He wrote headlight and front fender on same bolt question mark. Oh, I don't know. Uh, hold on. It, it shows. Hold on. Anaconda said, do a Razor 650 build and Saronster will join chat. I think you're right. It does go on the, on the same. Uh, and then does it go this way or the other way? See, this is one you guys got to help me out again, too. It goes this way. So, yeah, you're right. It goes on the same bolt. Thank you for that. Because I would have been like, damn it, now I got to undo it. <laughs> that is great. I love you guys. Love, love, love you guys. Um, You're ringing. I don't know if the headlight goes straight up like that. I'm guessing. The Saronster are like Razor 650s. Why? <laughs> Anaconda said, do a Razor 650 build and Saronster will join chat. All right. <laughs> I think he's having a problem with his KO motor and uh, I think he's getting that all worked out right now if you guys have seen that. The whole KO motor <laughs> fiasco. It's a big thing going on right now in the Sauron world. Ow, my fingers. What Brian McCann said Razor 650 is a Walmart e mini dirt bike. Oh, I thought it was like a Razor scooter. <laughs> what do you guys think about the, the new Sauron Ultra coming out? Ultra. He's getting tagged. Mike Feedy said, enjoy a good lunch tomorrow, guys. Talk it over about what we chatted about and stay focused. Let's FaceTime soon. I look forward to seeing the review. I got to get back to the grind. Thank you so much, Feedy. Okay. I'll see you on Wednesday, brother. Yeah, when you come down, we'll take you out to lunch. Oh, yeah, we're taking you out to a good ass lunch for sure. Thanks for joining, brother. Good night. Thank you, Mike. Ultima, it's 67 degrees with high wind warnings here. Wow, really? Super 73 T-Top. What's up, everybody? That's a dope color on the Hey, e Super 73 T-Top. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? Ultima said, thanks for stopping in, Mike. Louis Tramposh. I think Saroncer was being chased by LAPD last night. Guy got away on a bike doing wheelies. It was awesome. Damn, that sucks that they're starting to crack down on those Saroncers in Cali, man. I wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to start tagging their, their high-speed bikes? That's scary, man. I'm, ugh, that bums me out. But we know it's gonna happen. We knew, we knew it was gonna happen, you know? Gear Lee said, can't wait for my Grizzly to be complete. I'm doing a 72 volt 50 AH 
Molecel battery Molly with yeah. 5,000 kilowatt motor 3T with 100A controller. Oh, nice. That's some power. All right, guys, I've actually <laughs> never seen connectors like these. This one, you click it and actually screws in. I've never seen the smaller connectors like that. That's kind of neat. Oh, let me zoom in. Yeah. See that? You screw these little two things together to keep it tight. Not all the connectors like that on this, though. That's pretty neat. I've never seen that before on a regular e-bike. Anaconda said, Saronster co-created the Razor conversion kit. Oh, did he? That is pretty dope. All right, where do these things go? Charles Welbeck, Shreddy the Certified Bike Assembler. I'm just learning this. I'm learning how to do this as I go, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you take these off or what, but I'm taking them off. I just got to figure out where these go. Okay, right there. Boom. Thank you. Can you see this? I'm just putting a fender. Definitely a dope looking bike. D, do you think you're going to be able to ride this? Do you guys want to see if D can fit on this bike? She is five foot two. So we can take that seat all the way down. Oh, okay. The seat's up higher. Yeah, that's, it's... I think you could I lower can try it. it. Yeah. That would be so cool. D would have a fat tire bike. That'd be awesome. Um, Joe OWS, over hey. 60 degrees here. What's up, Joe? How you doing, brother? Happy Saturday. Saturday. Over 60 degrees with 40 mile per hour plus wind gusts coming off shores of Lake Michigan. Parasailing oh, anyone? <laughs> it got a little bit windy here. We were, we were on the beach, uh, but we had the... The umbrella kind of like laying down behind us, blocking the wind. It was cool. That was a lot of fun. Louis Trimposh had tight turn radius on that bike. Dude, I'm, I'm backwards, guys. Am I backwards? I am backwards. I'm backwards. Yeah. I, I am backwards. That definitely looks backwards. It's like I start talking and then I, ah, I forget stuff. <laughs> these nodding her head at me like, ah, oh, dude, jeez. <laughs> Just read she the directions. She likes keeping these, uh. Streams to an hour, but when I start doing this, you know, gets a little longer. Hold on, no, I am right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm really? right. See, I'm right. Yeah. It's just the wheels turned sideways. It looked is like this was in the front. Like? I feel like that is supposed to be in the front. No. This is the I back. Guess not. Here we go. <laughs> now it's right. See. Duh. Any questions? No. <laughs> oh, it has adjustable suspension. You can lock it, unlock it. Cool. I can't wait to see if I can wheelie this thing. I've never uh, wheelie this step through. Charles yeah. Welbeck, how many e-bikes have you tested, Shreddy? Oh my God, so many. Even bikes that I don't own. I've tried so many people's bikes. Like every time I meet somebody that has a cool bike, I'm like, dude, I gotta try that. I gotta try that. Yeah, Brian McCann remember, if a bike is too tall, replace the wheels for smaller wheels. Yeah, that's what I was wondering because yeah. they are fatter tires. But it says for 5'1 riders, but yeah. I like to be flat footed when riding. Yeah, what else? What else do we got, guys? What else? Am I, what am I forgetting? This is dope. I like it. Oh, the pedals, the pedals. Loon said, Shreddy, what do you think about the Gladiator 60 Touring 70H Suron Chai battery? What is it? The 60, 60 volt? How many amp hours is that one? Gladiator 60 Touring 70 AH Suron Chai Battery. Me you personally, I recommend uh, just getting the 60 volt max. 60 volt, 60 amp hour max. Uh, and he has Are you running the BAC 8000? He has a discount link for that too. What's your Chai discount code? Chai He's battery? Shreddy, I think for 5% uh, off of Chai batteries. They have all types of batteries for one wheel, Super 73s, Onyx. Oh yeah, that goes yeah, really well. Yeah, and that um, link and discount code is in the description below this video. Let's see, the seat's kind of pointed. John W. said, try setting the tire size smaller to fool the speed limiter. <laughs> oh, that actually doesn't work. It, it'll show like a, a faster speed, but you're really not going that speed. Match it to GPS, you'll see. Oh, it has a nice shifter too, wow. Loon said, I have a BAC 4000. Shimano shifter, eight speed. Very nice. Oh, the thumb throttles on the left. Oh, wow, that's actually uh, almost the same uh, style of thumb throttle as my RX. I'm actually used to that one, super comfy. 
Okay, cool. All right, pedals, guys, pedals. I'm getting like excited about riding this thing. I'll probably take it out uh, tonight for like a little short test ride. Where's, where, where did I put the pedals? Loon said here? I have the BAC 4000. Oh, okay. Oh, Loon, check it out. I tried to, um, it, uh, my friend has the BAC 4000 with the 72 volt max the, uh, from Chai. And bro, the power with the BAC 8000 actually, and that battery, oh my God, it's like, it's crazy feeling. It is, it is on another level that I've, I've ever felt. And, I would like the 72 volt, but man, it just the, the 4,000 with the 60 volt, it's so much power as is, just running at 10,000 watts. Like, why, does, why do I need to go that much faster? I'm not racing anybody, but it is fun to go fast and have that torque. It feels so cool. Sondalorian, what's up, Shreddy and D? Sondalorian, what's going on, brother? How you doing and how you feeling? Uh, um, I, I know you guys, you guys got some like good news where you can, actually start riding longer and better and stuff. That's awesome to hear. Like, how's that going? He said, my girlfriend loves this e-bike. She says it's her favorite of all the e-bikes you've shown. Nice, she, nice. She's wondering if Dee could do a review of this e-bike. She's also uh -oh. short. Oh. Okay, Dee. guys, I will do a review. You got to do a review. Oh, look, it, it does come with the light. It's like a, um, you pull this little thing out. I'm pretty sure it just turns on. Oh, flip that. All right. Oh, hold on. Up here. There it is go. a yeah. nice looking bike. That's it's cool. really nice looking. That's cool. So um, I'm guessing you put that right down there. Yep. I'm not going to use the reflectors. Oh, there's the display. That's us. Look, it's time to refresh. Heck yeah. That's dope. All right. We'll put the display on now and then the pedals. How about that? All right. No. Let's do the display last. I feel like that's always the final touch, like the, f the final touch. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, pedals are always marked with an L and an R. Did they give me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Joe OSW, stud the tires for some awesome drifting on Frozen Lake. Ooh, speaking of, I'm getting, V Tire is sending me some studded 20 by four inch tires. I'm thinking about putting that, putting those on the, uh, the Grizzly and hopefully we get a crazy winter where I could take it out to the sand dunes and see how it rips out there and on ice and stuff. That's gonna be crazy. And they actually sent um, Chris Shaver some studded tires out in California, but what would they <laughs> use those for? <laughs> Samuel James, hey Shreddy, what is the true top speed of the Air Rider Grizzly? I hit about 36 on GPS. If you guys wanna check out the review of that, I think it was like five, Videos ago, maybe, maybe, maybe more. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the V2 Grizzly that I did. Yeah, just search like Air Rider Grizzly V2 review yeah. on Shreddy's channel. Actually, I think I might have linked it below. Oh, I, I linked the V1 review below in the description. And I think the V1, I've maybe hit 30, 33 ish or something. I can't remember. That was a while ago. And you guys remember I did the, the full throttle, uh, dual battery, dual motor range test. And I think I got like 43 miles on that. I haven't done that yet on the V2. It's been so hard to get like to doing like range tests with like so many reviews and rides and so much stuff going on. Loon said, I'll definitely go with what you have. Thanks, bro. Awesome, Loon. Joe OSW, okay. 70 AH, your arse will wear out before the battery will. Yeah. That's a bigger, heavier battery too. It is heavy. Oh, bell, notification bell. Maybe that should be the last touch. <laughs> he loves bell. his bells. I love my bells, I do. Do you want the red light on it? You think I should put it on there? Charles Welbeck, if you have leftover pedals, you've done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna check out the bike? Brian McCann okay. said. That looks cool. Oh yeah, you have to put the, oh wait, the pedals are there. Yeah, pedals are on. I got to put the display and my notification bell. Let me see what side I need for. Oh my God, don't hit me in my head. Brian McCann, Shreddy, have you seen the new EUC veteran Sherman with shocks? No, not yet. But um, Alec came on a group ride recently and he brought his EUC with shocks and it was amazing. And he, he like uh, stayed with us and we were all on our higher speed bikes, Surons and Bomber Mar was with on his like super powered, um, what was it, the cruiser? 
Craziness, craziness. Um, my hit can said mid drive, I see. This is a rear hub on this bad boy. Pretty sure it's a 750 watt motor and I think it peaks at 1200 watts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Richard Cruz, the bike is a monster. It looks cool as mm -hmm. hell. Go moshing on it, dude. <laughs> Spitting out a... <laughs> is something in your mouth? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tools? Oh, cool, fair. <laughs> Joe OSW, Everybody nice about that. clean look. Yeah, I'm actually really stoked about this bike. Definitely stoked to do a review on it. Take it off some sweet jumps. Grab a few threads. <laughs> what? Brother Volley <laughs> just said back to Richard, Richard, hell isn't cool. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Charles Welbeck, what's a good top speed for a modified e-bike? Man, Bomber Marv was on one that goes 71 that he built. I mean, you don't need to go more than what? Like 40? Do you gotta go that fast, guys? <laughs> Do you really wanna go that fast? <laughs> no. uh, Brother Bully said, what is the price on this? Oh, crap, it's uh, $13.99. I'm pretty sure it's $13.99. It's a really good, affordable price. And but use code SHREDDY60 off, guys, 60 yeah, off. Yeah, you can use code SHREDDY60. SHREDDY60. For $60 off. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The link's down below. And use the link below. Daryl Tassar. What's up, Daryl? Only 90. What's that? Only 90. 90 what? Um, Bring brother, it back. Bring it back. <laughs> brother Boldly, 38 miles per hour is not bad. There we go. That's tight. And then, oh, you tighten that up too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for you guys just joining, um, make sure you check out his Lyric Graffiti video. We, he just put out um, Sunday. The Lyric Graffiti goes 38 miles per hour, and it's... Uh, I think I hit about... I can't remember how fast I hit on, on that video. And he has $300 off of that for a limited time. What's your code for them? It's Shreddy it's, 300. Yeah, it's in the discount. Links below. And you're going to be putting out a Voodoo, a Lyric Voodoo video this week. Uh, Tyson Beckford's electric bike. Yeah, and I'll be hanging out with Tyson Beckford hopefully next week. Oh, the controls are nice. I do like the way it's uh, the throttles on the left, rear brake on the right. That way you can always have your hand on the rear brake on the throttle. I'm, I'm going to wheelie this thing, guys. I'm wheeling. Oh, I got to tighten up the front wheel. Let me do that right now because if I take this out on my first ride without a front wheel being tightened, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me because I will keep that in the rear in the review if I were to fall. Always check your nuts. Always. Remember, guys, always check your nuts. Oh, wow, look. It gave you kind of like one of these things to tighten them down. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. It's nice it comes with tools. It's like I'm working on a car <laughs> with this. <laughs> that's dope. Ultima said the compartment by the crank has the controller in it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? And does it have like... Is Mahi it, Khan said, breathe? lucky to get a consistent 20 mile per hour with mine. Would have liked to have had the money for mid-drive, yeah. but happy with my Walmart e-bike as it is. How fast is this e-bike supposed to go? Uh, I want to say 28. I got to bring up the, uh, the specs on my phone. Brother Bowley, not bad. I'm thinking about getting the electric 3.0, considering this now. Yeah, I keep on hearing good things about those bikes. Yeah, this is nice. Um, Eddie unboxed a bike last week. I forget what it was called. I like and the big fenders. I think it was like electric, but it was a different name. It and was a Jason. A Jason. And check out that video for Jason. But I do think this bike um, looks better. Yeah, it feels solid. The quality actually does feel really nice. Um, what else do I got left? Notification bell. Yeah, where to go? Where to go? That one uses a screwdriver. Get out of here. And his discount link for this is down below in the descriptions too. Um, Brian McCann, wrong way, was out in Vancouver jumping huge ramps on a BMX course. I want to find a cool BMX course and hit it with the Suron. 
<laughs> what about your BMX speed bike? You get in trouble for that, though. Daryl said MPG. Oh, is that what he said? What do they claim on 90 this? 90 MPG. I think they claim, um, for what? This, they MPG, claim a, no gas. a range of like 45 miles per charge. Brian McCann, wrong way was the EUC on the BMX course. What's going on now? What are you doing now? Notification bell to be notified on making videos. I'll scoot it over some. Too close to the controls. Too close. I'm left-handed, so that's why I got to keep it over here. But you can move it like that. Okay, I got to tighten it up more. I like all the tools they give you with this kit. All right, yeah. Sweet. All right, what else am I forgetting here? Oh, the keys. Does this come with keys? That's the one thing I was wondering. Is there a keyhole? Yes, okay. So that's one thing I haven't found yet, the keys. Are they on the bike? Yes. yes. All right. There they are. <laughs> there we go. We've got keys. So I, I always keep uh, one, one key in a safe and then one key with me in my book bag with the 20,000 other keys I've got. I don't know how he keeps his keys straight. So the cool thing about e-bikes and keys is that they're numbered. So the number, there, there are only a certain numbers of keys for all e-bikes. So sometimes I'll have one key that'll work with like two or three of the e-bikes here. So that's what's cool about that. Eventually you'll have a key for every, every e-bike. Charles well. Welbeck, was the graffiti comfy with no rear suspension? I've been contemplating it, on the graffiti or the X-Class 52 volt for months. It actually, one shreddy? it actually was pretty comfortable with the seat that they had. Uh, but of course, when you do hit like bigger potholes, you should lift up your butt regardless. He said compare, compared to the X-Class 52 volt, does that one have suspension? The X-Class 52 does have full suspension. He said, which one should he get? What style of riding do you think you're going to be doing? I've never mounted a bag. What's like the difference between... Oh, so the Lyra can do like wheelies where can the arrow rider? I don't know. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure out this, how to mount the battery. There's like these little grooves down at the bottom I see. Do I have to turn the key and push it in? Hold on, let me make sure there isn't something like, I got to remove first. Good, good. That locks into there. Look how the, the battery actually... I've never seen a battery go in like that before that have the, these connectors on them. Comment down below, have you guys seen a connector like that for batteries? I bet you Paltima's seen them. I know Paltima's well versed in e-bikes. So open, should I do that? I don't want to like force this. Struggling with shreddy. We just pulled it out once. Uh, Charles will wait for his reply regarding the X-Class first graffiti. But for either one, be sure to use one of his links down below and discount codes. See, I mean, it all depends on really the, the style of riding. I feel like um, the X-Class would be more of like a all around, off road, on road type deal. Graffiti, you probably want to keep it more on road. Although I, I took it off road and I had fun. I'd, I'd want to throw some, uh, some like treaded tires on it, but they, ha they have been talking about maybe bringing up a uh, lyric graf graffiti, maybe with the next coming year and having rear suspension on that one, but it's gotta be like a 2.0 upgraded model. So it's gonna be a little more expensive. Or like Shreddy tells people, just buy a bike now and you can always sell it later if you yep. change your mind. Exactly, exactly. They have good resale value. Let me just check my rear nuts. And they're only going up in price. And uh, the graffiti has a limited time $300 off. Um, what's your code for them? Uh, Shreddy 300. Shreddy 300 and then yep. Air Rider oh. um, affiliate link 
is below. I think that saves you $50. All right, let's see. I just wanted to make sure. Checking all my nuts, guys. Check your nuts. Always check your nuts. Everything seems nice and tight. Joe OSW. What's I mean, up, Joe? OWS. Anything OWS. with 750 watts plus battery is a great deal for two grand. Let me actually get my phone so this I can get all the specs and read you everything. You can get about for them. a steal. Do they offer it with an expanded AH battery? I will see. I'm pretty sure you can buy extra batteries, but I don't know if they can, uh, if they have a bigger battery than this. But as you guys know, we always modify our bikes that you can get a rear rack for this. Maybe if you want, you could um, set it up and uh, put another battery on the back here if you want. Um, that's what we like to do around here. Add, add our own batteries. We love modding our bikes, but you know when you mod your own bikes like that, it does void the warranty. I'm pretty sure this does have a, I want to say a one year warranty yes, on the bike. Yes, it does. I'm going to look up the parts One year now. warranty. You could even put like a basket on the front of this bike. I always like a basket. <laughs> So they, they do have like the high step, which is going to be a little bit taller than this one. And for a little bit, like for the very tall riders. E-bikes. So we do, I do have the Discover One we're going to be reviewing. And do you guys want, want me to open the, uh, the other Velotrick tomorrow or the next day? Or do you guys want me to open the free, I have a, a bike called the Frigo F1 Pro. I could open that. I have a Vans Power and I have a Hobsco bike. So if you guys uh, know about any of those bikes, uh, drop down in the comments and let me know which one of those you guys want to see me open. I would say open the Discover of this bike, of this brand, so we can see the differences. So that's, uh, we got the step through version of it. So just so you guys know that they do have a high step if you guys want something like that. But as you see the uh, step through version for rider heights between 5'1 and 6'4". The high step is between five six and six foot nine, so and it retails at thirteen ninety nine. Use code Shreddy sixty get sixty dollars off that price. Um, so it has a forty eight volt fourteen point four amp hour battery in here. Like I said, with a three amp charger, uh, I'm I'm guessing the charging time is probably like forty six hours. And down here it does say six hours for it to charge up to a 55 mile range. I'm, I'm not sure if that's at full throttle. I'm guessing it's probably just pedaling with a little bit of assist, but we'll do like a full range, uh, full throttle range test on this. Uh, 750 watt uh, rear hub motor that peaks at 1200 watts. I did uh, say that earlier. And between 5'1 and 6 foot 9 could fit on this bad boy. What other specs? What other specs? They do have eight colors to choose from. Let me see all the colors they had. They're only showing one, two, three, four. So they have a, the mango, which is like a yellow. I think, I think the other bike that I have the, uh, is, a, is a mango. Then they have the indigo gray, sand, and forest, which is like a green. I actually like this color. That's cool. I like that. It's like an emerald green. Yeah. Oh, so both both of them have different colors. So the step through is going to have that's the color that we have, right? Mm -hmm. That color. That's the color we have. That's the color we have. Yeah. And What's the, the color, color called? Cyan. Cyan. Yep. It almost looked like this one. That looks cool though. I like it. Seven hundred and fifty watt, twelve hundred watt peak. Man, the brakes do feel nice. Um, let, let's keep on getting this thing this, together. Yeah, I mean, this bike is really affordable and has a low price. It's very nice for the price. Shreddy, uh, RR Busa. Shreddy, I'm 6'4", weighing 225 pounds. What bike would you recommend? You can definitely ride this thing, but uh, are you looking for something with dual motors, dual batteries? Something like that, I would say get the Grizz. Grizzly all day long. Arrow Rider Grizzly, and he has a link for that down below in the description. Save $50. The right There's more connectors. Okay, here we go. Blue, blue to blue. And we're in. And then green. Do you guys see a green one? Right here. Green Bubba one. Shitty, what's up, Shreddy? What's up, Bubba Shitty? Thank you for hanging out, bro. Good to see you. Sandalorian, 
Yes, thanks for asking, Shreddy. Acupuncture is allowing me to ride again. And the neurovision doctors say within 48 weeks they can fix my eyes with eye gazing therapy and custom made prism glasses. Oh, wow, really? That is cool. That's great. Yeah, that is really awesome to hear, man. Keep on letting me know, like keep me in the, in the know of what's going on with you, brother. Cool. So yeah, what's cool about like being able to lock out the suspension if you're gonna be just pedaling, because you know if you're pedaling and it's like bouncing, it's slowing you down. So if you, if you lock it out, it, it won't slow you down, so it won't be like bouncing and dampening your speed. So that's cool. I'm gonna keep it suspension on at all times for sure. Um, everything's connected. Dee, do you wanna see if you can fit on this? This is really low. That's very low. Should I put my platform shoes on or I'll try it without shoes yeah. and then try it with. I would say try it without shoes. All right, we have a few more that way, comments as you well. You know, you're actually five foot two, you know. I think. Went with a wider seat on mine because a racing seat it came with after 20 minutes of riding was excruciating. So it hurt your biscuits, huh? I always like, uh, like the more like beachy style, big fat seats. Yeah, I like a wide seat. Carrie, Shreddy, do you remember what the torque is on the graffiti? No, I can ask Andrew for you though. But it did feel good after about eight miles an hour is when it really kind of like kicked in. That's how they had it programmed. But like I said, um, when I do get the gra graffiti, it does have a BAC 855 and we're able to get into that controller. We'll play around with it and tweak it up and turn it up and see what we can do with it. And see how fast we can get it to go without blowing it up. <laughs> I like these, this, this shifter. I don't have, I don't have a, a, any e-bikes that have a shifter like this. This is a really nice Shimano shifter. So this is the, my first e-bike that has eight speeds too. It has a seven. Oh yeah, that's right. So they give you this. I don't know if you guys can see. See this wiry mess over here? You can probably wrap that up and kind of keep it together. Dee's getting her platform shoes on or regular <laughs> shoes? Platform. Platform? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, just try the without at first, let's see. But I'm like, I'm not, like normal people can ride a bike. I just like to have my feet like touching completely, so I, okay. let's see. So I'm 5'2". Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it fits perfect. Awesome. I have a little bit of a platform, but I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. That looks great. And it's like, what is the weight of the bike? It feels like lightweight. Oh yeah, that's the one thing I didn't read Yeah, it out. feels like nice and lightweight. I like that. It's pretty light. I want to say it's like 70 pounds or something. And the Heck seat, yeah, dude, that's gonna be awesome. The seat is comfy. Yeah, I like this. Yes, I'm so stoked you fit on that. That's great. This is gonna be like the first fat tire bike that you can ride. This is amazing. <laughs> yes, and this, the, how about the, the pedal position? Yeah, I like Does that. it feel okay? Like it feels like it's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like in front. Yeah. You should... Yeah, I like pedals like in the front, not underneath the seat. So there's like a brand. Uh, she tried Pedego, and like she felt like the pedals were like like that, like behind yeah. her. So it felt like a little bit weird. Uh, which side am I getting off here? <laughs> I'm good. Features and details. Da -da -da -da. Where does it say the weight of this? I'm afraid it's like turning. Oh, okay. It feels like it's funny because it's a bigger bike, but it's really lightweight. Frame is aluminum, aluminum alloy, fully integrated and lockable down tube battery, internal cable routing, front and rear fenders, quick release seat post, post clamp. Oh, so the, uh, the fork is a hydraulic suspension with 80 millimeters of travel with the lockout, like I said. Uh, da, da, da. 48 volt, 750 watt motor, 1200 watt peak. Already told you the battery. The cells are Tesla grade 21700 made by LG and Samsung. I wish I could open it up for you and show you guys. Uh, the display is a 3.5 inch backlit LCD display with speed trip battery assist levels and more. I want to know what the and more is. Oh, and the USB does have a charging port. Let's see, where is that? It does have a charging port, it says. But where you go? It says a five amp charging port for, uh, I'm guessing it's down here. Oh yeah, it's underneath. Little piece of rubber, yep. There it is, little USB port under there. 
throttle assist, thumb throttle, removable. It does have like a, a walking mode, but what I like about walking modes, if you want to go like really slow and chill, you can just sit down on it on walking mode and ride it. Headlights, a high, high output integrated LED, LED adjustable angle. I'm trying to get to the pedal assist range, 55 miles. Throttle range, 52 miles. We'll see about that. 46T chain ring, the crank set is aluminum alloy, 170, uh, 170 millimeter. Eight speed cassette, 13 front, or 1334, 1334. Uh, Give me the size, hydraulic brakes, 180 millimeter front and rear uh, rotors. The rims are aluminum alloy, 26 by four puncture resistant tires. Just give me the size, I just want the weight. Oh, here we go, the weight and load. The bike weight is uh, for the high step is 73 pounds and the step through, 72 pounds. And I'm pretty sure that's with the battery. That's not bad at all. Um, it felt light though, it didn't feel heavy. Cause I've been on some of your bikes and they feel heavy. Yeah. Oh wow, this bike actually has a max load of 440 pounds was actually the highest I've ever seen on an e-bike. Usually it's like so 300 or I saw 330 on the, on the review that I'm putting out tomorrow so for the scooter. So this is great for heavier people. Yeah, up to 440 pounds. Wow. Uh, what's it, it said like 76 newton meters of torque. So I'm, I'm excited to let's see. Uh, all right, let's pull this off. It says it's time to refresh. So. Oh, very nice, <laughs> very nice. Refreshed. I'm feeling refreshed now. Look at that, oh my God. Step on lights. I guess I should, I'll put that on there maybe. If it actually, no, it won't fit if these gonna ride it. <laughs> maybe I'll have to put it on here or something like rig it up somehow. Porter rig it. All right. I'll mess with this later. I know you guys don't wanna see me put that on. Um, all right, is there like a, I turn this sucker on. Um, let me get a little bit closer, get a little closer. So you can see the display. The power button up here, plus and minus for your pedal assist levels. Oh, cool, cool, all right. See the display? Let's see what kind of information it gives us. Your odometer, your average speed, that's cool. Max speed, looks like they tested it out, I'm guessing, to make sure everything is good. Did they ride it for a minute? Ooh. <laughs> Does it, hold on, does that say how many calories you burnt? Get out of here. Did oh, that say, wow. Hold on, what does that mean? <laughs> With these that and power. That's cool, so it'll be, it'll tell you how many watts you're pushing. Five pedal assist levels. Oh, sorry. Let me see if pedal assist zero actually gives you um, throttle. Some bikes, when you put it on pedal assist zero, it turns off the, the rear motor. Yep, just like this one, okay. Pedal assist one, two, three, that's 16 watts of power. 33 watts of power. Oh yeah, that's good. Nice, 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 nice. Um, what else do I gotta put on? I think I'm pretty much done. The, the install or the assembly. Do you guys have any more questions? And yes. definitely comment, let me know what bike you guys want me to open next. I got a bunch. I say you open like, the other don't one you of guys this? think you should open the same brand, the Discover, so we can see what the differences are? Discover versus, oh yeah, that, that way I can open it and kind of put it next to each other in here. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so open that tomorrow night. We'll do okay. it tomorrow night yeah, like Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Are you guys, do you guys want to hang out again Sunday night, 8 p.m.? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Drop some thumbs up in the comments. I want to go out and try this. I'm excited to try this. So Carrie, I think you might have already answered this. Carrie asked about, Shreddy, do you remember the what the torque is on the graffiti? Yeah, I told her. So after eight miles an hour, it's kind of when it picks up, but I'm not sure like the, like how many Newton meters. I'll ask. And Carrie, make sure you check out, unless you probably already did, but check out that um, Lyric Graffiti first look video. Shreddy just put out on Sunday. It's awesome video about the Lyric Graffiti. Um, I think it's coming out like January 1st, 2023. Yep. And also I'll be going live with Tyson Beckford down in Austin. Do you guys want to see that? <laughs> Cause he, uh, Oh, headlight. How do I the turn voodoo on the bike and uh, that video will be coming out this week hold too. On. What's pedal assist? Do I have to hold a plus? 
Oh no, the plus is the headlight. Yeah. All right, so I'll aim it down a little bit. Sound DeLorean, I can only cool. ride about a dozen or so blocks at the moment before I can see. Hoping with these glasses and eye gazing therapy, I'll be able to go further, hopefully. I hope so, brother. You gotta let me know when you get them. Maybe you can come visit Delaware when you, when you feel better. Come, come on a fun ass group ride, 60 miles, bro. That's what we do here, man. We'll do a 60 mile group ride with you. Quad Crazy Keith, Air Rider Kepler seems to be the most power for the money. I actually rode with one today. I didn't get to try it. My friend, um, Officer Neil got one. So you'll be seeing it on the channel. I'll, I'll, I'll test it out, let you guys know what I think about it. I'll uh, test the speed with GPS on it too. And then I'm, with this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the speeds too uh, with GPS. I, what did they claim, 28 miles an hour? I wanna say that they claimed 28. Mohican said, step through is a better option with age plus no worries of knocking over whatever it is you have on the carry rack. Yeah, it's easier to get on and off. <laughs> That's what I like it. Richard Cruz, Frigo, I'm saving to get one. Oh, okay. So maybe we can open the Frigo like Monday night. <laughs> I don't see anything about speed, but I want to say, I mean, it's a 750 watt motor. It should go at least up to 28 miles an hour. Do we have two nice Frigos or one? Which one? The Frigo? We got one, the F1 Pro, and that one has front and rear suspension, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and Richard Cruz, he should have a discount code for that too, so we'll put that in the description when we do that video, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. This can climb up to 15 degree hills. Guys, tell me the speed. I'm going to go outside and test the speed. Mohican said 2,000 kilo, kilo meter, kilometers on mine so far. Might be further. How, how many though. miles is that? How many miles is that? What country are you We in? need to learn kilometers here. Um, we, we need to just go off kilometers in America. Might be further though. Last winter, the negative 35 degree Celsius cold reset my bike computer, and I don't know exactly how far I've traveled beyond oh. 2,000 kilometers. Damn, kilometers. that's a bummer. <laughs> L Star, the, bike looks good with that cake should color. I bring, should I bring it back a little bit more so you guys can you see the whole bike? Yeah. Oh, okay. I kind of want to step back and look at it because I like the size of it. I like the size of the bigger tires. That looks awesome. It looks like it's going to de definitely be able to tackle some stuff. It's a nice, yeah, it's I a nice. I like the look size. of it. It does. It has a very cool look. The big fenders, you know, these things are going to work. You're not going to get wet. That's it's definitely awesome. Definitely like a stylish, like, Good job, Bellatrix. Cruiser, yeah. Good job. Dee's gonna be doing wheelies on this soon. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Any more questions, guys? Saturday, thank you guys so much again. Thank you guys so much for joining this live stream. And again, if you guys do wanna support the channel, there's always the super chats and there's always all those links down below. Just click on them, you don't have to buy anything. Check out the <laughs> Amazon store. If you're planning on buying like something else that's not even e-bike related, click on the Amazon store link and it does give Shreddy credit for anything you buy. But I do get, I do see everything you buy, but I don't know who buys it. <laughs> People buy some weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> Brian McCann, I heard remember, the story the other day. <laughs> Brian McCann said, remember, we need more crashing content, Shreddy, make it happen. Oh, no. oh, Brian McCann, were you here earlier? I went out for a 30 minute group ride. I went up this little hill that's like, um, this, like it's a hill that has like a little beach scene on the top of a hill on next to the road. But I decided to ride up the little side of the grass and come down and I forgot my rear brakes on the left on the super but I grabbed it on the right and I slid and fell right on my face. And never, Byron Marr was there, Matt Mechanic, uh, Officer Neal, Matt Mechanic's mom. Don't tell me you didn't get it on camera. No, no, and, and <laughs> Matt Mechanic's mom fell too after we got into the sand. So we, we uh, two spills in 30 minutes, like how crazy is that? I, I was like, all right guys, I gotta take off. I gotta do a, a, a live stream and plus it's already starting off pretty bad. <laughs> And he almost like chopped his foot off yesterday. Oh yeah. You guys will see it. Yeah. In for the those of you joining, yeah. Video um, tomorrow. When you watch the Varla uh, video tomorrow, I think I'm gonna premiere. Did I do four or five? I can't remember. Five four or five. Um, stay till the end, till after I say, you know, uh, the the, you know, till I end it, and you'll see how that happened. He almost lost his foot. It hurts so bad. 
It still hurts, it still hurts. I, I have to wear these shoes because if I wear other shoes, it puts pressure on my toes where it's swollen. I think you need steel toe shoes. Yeah, I thought I, I, like literally, I thought the review was over at that point. Well, actually it was pretty close to over, but um, yeah, I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital, get my toe uh, <laughs> sewed back on. <laughs> it was pretty brutal. So that's videos from wearing tomorrow at five, the yeah. bar I do cuss Lots at the end, but I, I kind of like, Try I don't bleep it. them out, but I chop it up a little bit. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'll say. Robin Stevens, Shreddy, love you, man. Great stuff every I time. I love you too, brother. I love you. E-bikes in snow. Thoughts on this? Looking at upgrading my tires in the Grizz and using it in Canada. Yes. Oh, so were you here earlier when we talked about V-Tire is sending me studded, um, studded 20 by 4 tires I'm going to put on the Grizzly. So once it snows, if we do get a crazy winter here, we're going to go back to these sand dunes, hopefully they get nice and hard when it gets cold and icy. And we're gonna rip around back there and see how, uh, how they handle. I, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. And Robin, when he gets those in, he'll have um, affiliate link and hopefully discount link to those as well. So he'll let you know which ones uh, they for, are. For the tires, I'll probably just have a link for Amazon. Oh, are, are they going to be on Amazon? Yeah, because they still have the Huntsman's on there. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Joe OSW, cruiser e-bikes let you sit up straight with the forward pedals. My preference also. Yes, I love Yeah, so I see yeah, how the seat kind of goes back a little bit. Yeah, I like my feet out in front. Me, I'd probably be sitting like and this. And they have a wider seat. Because <laughs> you guys know when you pedal, you, got, you have to have like almost a full extension on your knee. So that, that would be almost perfect. I'd probably still have to be a little bit higher. But that's how I would look riding this bike for real. <laughs> with your seat all the way up. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. Like to be comfortable, like you don't want to be pedaling like this. So your knees like don't kind of go out all the way. I know, but I have to touch the ground. It's bad for you. It's bad. <laughs> so if you have a hard time touching the ground, I always say kind of like when you're stopping, get on one pedal and kind of go like that. And then when you take off, just the same thing, reverse. So. Yeah, Carrie said studded tires will do you good, Robin. And Robin Stevens said yes. Yeah, definitely. Loon, Shreddy D, I'm about to head out for a bike ride. Yeah, What lucky. time is it where you are? Nighttime. It's 9.30 here. Thank you so here. much, you guys, for doing what you do for everyone. Also, everyone that is watching, please hit that like. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Loon. you for reminding. Thank you. If you guys are enjoying this content up until now, definitely don't forget to drop that like, guys. Thank you, guys. Ultima said, I should have had D try my Rad Mini with the seat all the way down. Oh, yeah. I would like it? to see if she could fit on that. That's a good idea. Next time you come down, bro. I hope you can still come down in the wintertime because I can't. Th th the thing is, you could have came down today. It was 78 degrees here today. I couldn't believe it. So beautiful. Joe OSW. Robin, I live in northern Michigan. Sud tires on the lakes are fairly safe. I go on fishing shanty crawls in the winter. What? It that is, is a, dope. Yeah, it's a blast. Oh my God, imagine riding on an ice lake. Oh. We have a way to warm batteries now and then. Cold creates lag. Yeah. Dude, I want to come visit you and do some riding like that. Oh my God. I think Ultima's in Michigan too. Yeah, yeah, you two should hang out. Get some riding in on some lakes. Bubba that would Shitty be said awesome. Thumbs up. Louis Trampoche, what's for dinner? Thank you, thank you. What is, we, we oh, already Oh, everyone's ate. giving thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. I'm giving you guys thumbs up. Oh, that was a thumbs up for, for D to review? Or no, hit that like button. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well, go to the like button and hit that thumbs up. <laughs> um, Brian Grady said, I'll be watching tomorrow. Can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be on around 8 o'clock, I think, again. Ultima. Glad Neil upgraded. He was struggling in Maryland. What did he say? Glad Neil upgraded his bike. He was oh, yeah, Maryland. yeah. And the Kepler actually, it looks like it can hang. It's got some power for sure. Sondalorian, I will definitely let you know when I get them, and once I'm able to, we'll be making our way down for sure. Awesome, dude, that'd be awesome. Ultima, 2,000K is 1,000, oh, 2,000 kilometers is 1,242.74 miles. Yes, I love you, I love you, Paul Tima. He's the best. Oh, let's see, is Matt's mom okay? Yeah, she's all right. She actually fell in like nice soft sand where like they play a uh, volleyball. <laughs> she was trying to do some burnouts. <laughs> like mother, like son. <laughs> Joe always love you. Weebo shreddy. Weebo, weebo wobble. Don't fall down. <laughs> also, this weekend was out. Just got my pharmacy tech license and I'm starting a new job Monday. Oh, nice. Congrats, brother. Richard Cruz. Can't wait for my Frigo discount. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll post that soon, Richard. I do have, I think I do have a, hold on. I think I do have a Frigo you discount. You have it already? 
Yeah. Okay. I think Coach Shreddy for like 50 bucks off or we something. Can, I, I got to check, yeah. If we have it now, we'll add it to this description. So just check back in a second. We'll add it to the description underneath this video. All right, guys. So this was a really fun unboxing. Thank you guys for all, thank all you guys for joining. And I'm glad you guys all had fun like talking amongst each other in a chat. That's what I always love for you guys to do. Always meet each other. Um, have a great time meeting good friends that like to do the same things, you know, riding e-bikes. Uh, but yeah, super stoked about this bike. Again, if you guys like this bike, uh, drop it in the comments of the, the video, not in the live comments. Um, make sure if you guys do want to support the channel, you guys are interested in this e-bike, there is a link down below for the Velotrick Nomad 1. Use code SHREDDY60, get $60 off your order. If Velotrick isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any more comments while we're ending it? So um, as always, if you guys did enjoy the content, please don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys uh, do want to support the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Thank you guys for joining. You guys